Brandon, will there be any roster moves today involving Aiken or Scott? There is. Aiken is um, activated, and Tanner is going to go on the 10-day the IL with a little bit of knee soreness. Next is Rich Dubroff. Hey, uh, uh, Brandon, how much of Scott's difficulties the last couple of days can be attributed to, to the knee? Well, I, yeah, I'm not really sure. I, he has, it's been going, going on and off a little bit for the last week to two weeks. Um, yesterday, he, he felt really good. So he was available to pitch, wanted to pitch. Um, and then it was pretty clear in that, that the second hitter, I noticed that he was landing differently. And unfortunately, with the three batter minimum, I had to keep him in there because um, he felt fine. But after the game, he, he was, the knee was sore. And, and um, so we decided he got evaluated today and we're, we're going to put him on the, on the aisle. Nathan Ruiz. Brandon, do you guys need to make a 40 man move for that? We do for uh, Aiken. That hasn't been announced yet. That will be announced shortly. Joe Trezza. And you, you have a lot of guys who are playing through things and have been for a while. Uh, do you think that that's normal for this time of year, or is it um, a little exacerbated this year, maybe because of the shorter season last year? I just think you look around the league, everybody's in the same boat. There's a lot of guys taking days off. You see a lot of day-to-day -day guys in and out of lineups. Um, I think we've been really fortunate this year and credit to our medical team and Joe and Rio and, and Evil and his staff for uh, really doing a great job of keeping us fairly healthy for the most majority part of the year. Now, I'd just like to finish that way and finish the last couple of months, continue to keep it guys on the field as much as we possibly can. That's why Cedric's sitting today. That's why Urias is sitting today, just because, um, you know, so we still have a ways to go, and we want to try to keep them as healthy and fresh as possible throughout the rest of the year. Dan Connolly. Brandon, obviously juggling your bullpen has been a huge thing for you all year. Without Tanner there now, how much does that change, you know, the, the complexity of that bullpen? I mean, do you have to save Paul a little bit more? Do you have to move Aiken in a different role? I mean, what are you looking at right now with this bullpen with Scott out? Yeah, I mean, it just kind of happened, so I'm, I'm – you know, I was thinking about it last night a little bit this morning. Um, you know, without us having true set roles, really, just because we don't know who we are in our bullpen. Um, you know, but for the most part, I've used the same few three or four guys in, in the higher leverage spots. Now it's just somebody else needs to who's going to pitch when when the game's tight through the sixth through the ninth. There's one more. More pitcher that needs to step up. Um, but Tanner's been a weapon for us and, and really set some inconsistent moments. The last couple of nights are, weren't his best, um, but gotten a lot of big outs for us. Um, I'm just going to continue to try to match up as the best I possibly can um, without him, and, and hopefully he's back soon. Steve Molesky. Brandon, is there almost a direct correlation between better starting pitching outings, deeper outings, and more wins? And what could it mean for the final couple months? That's definitely a yes, Steve. Yes. Good starter. Yes. Good outings out of your rotation will give you a better chance to win ball games. And we are having, uh, um, you know, we've done a nice job in the rotation in the second half for sure. You guys have really Throwing strikes means he was outstanding yesterday. Um, so we've improved in the rotation since the break, and it shows in our record. 